So within the latest this week at People Can Fly, we are calling this the TWAP, PCF talk about the future of the game, clear up what's happened over the past few days and talk about the next patch for Outriders. Today we get into it all people. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So over the past week, since the last patch, which was actually quite a decent patch for the game, we have seen news break actually from PCF talking about how Square Enix haven't sent over any realtors yet and PCF actually don't know themselves exactly how many units Outriders has sold. A lot of people took this information and thought there's something going down between PCF and Square Enix, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Within this week's dev news, it's all covered, so let's get into it people, starting with general news. There's been a lot of discussion about Outriders this week, and we're sure that everybody has many thoughts and questions about their understanding of the situation and what it means for Outriders and its future. However, there is only one thing to say, our plans for the future of Outriders remain unaffected. Nothing has changed. Nothing has changed people. We together with People Can Fly are continuing to work closely together on improving and expanding the core Outriders experience on all platforms and remain very excited for the future of the game. It's worth mentioning that as our patches to date have and are continuing to address most of the bugs that players may have experienced, our teams are beginning to shift more focus towards working and implementing much requested new features and content. Pay Paul. We'll talk more about this uh, new horizon as well as the other Outriders related things we've been working on in the near future. So yes people, basically clearing up any mishaps that people may be feeling due to the statement pulled out by PCF which I have covered over the past few days and it seems as though the future does look bright for this game. I mean exactly how bright we won't know until this new content comes but for me it does look promising. Okay so we're going to get onto the patch news right now. Our latest patch is currently undergoing the usual test cycle but we wanted to share some highlights of the upcoming fixes and changes with you already today. Please do bear in mind that our current testing is still validating the below fixes so some of them may not be 100% guaranteed for this patch. Also know that this is not an exhaustive list and is still subject to change as we pass through the testing phase. The final patch will include more fixes and improvements. Okay, so further improve the visibility of the Broodmother Surge area of effect skill limits. Fixed a bug that was preventing players from reviving themselves and other players after using the Trickster's Borrowed Time skill. Resolved an issue that could cause the game to stir when engaging crawlers in battle during expeditions. Resolved an issue that could cause players to stutter when entering the Drain Lake during the third enemy encounter in the Scorchlands expedition. Resolved an issue that prevented secondary characters from picking up journal entries if they had already been collected on a different character. Resolved an issue that would force matchmaking privacy settings to default to open. The privacy setting should now remain closed when set. This should help further reduce AFK matchmaking added an AFK status for players and friends lists, changed the behaviour of the Devastators Impale so that the game will detect impaled enemies as dead even before they disappear. The Devastators Reflect Bullet skill will now protect from scathing projectile attacks. Fixed a bug that could prevent Devastators from being able to consistently dodge if they had the Auto Reflect mod active. Fixed a bug that could cause client shots to sometimes deal no actual damage to enemies. Fixed a bug that could cause the Technomancer's Plague Sour Set bonus to not proc consistently. Fixed a bug that could cause the Plague Sour and the Cannibal Legendary Sets to not retain their set bonus after a transition. Fixed a bug that could cause certain mods like Grand Opening to not proc if the player was on their last magazine. Crash fixes and other minor bug fixes. So those will be a part, well not 100%, but most of those will be a part of the next patch, which I'll probably say will be coming next week, and hopefully next week we hear more about new content for this game, because that's basically what we all want now. We want to hear about new content, people, it is as simple as that. But yes guys, that is it for the TWAP. Now this week at People Can Fly, if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out, if you're new around here and want to see more Outriders be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next 
one.